here with Aaron Ashmore, who plays Johnny on Killjoys. Can you tell me a little bit more about the show? Well, Killjoys is, uh, we're basically bounty hunters in space, and we're working, uh, we're, the, the show is set in a place called The Quad. Um, it's one planet and three moons, and it's basically us working warrants within this planetary system. Now, warrants, they can mean people, they can mean objects, they can mean weapons. Yeah, I mean, it goes as much from transporting a piece of equipment to transporting people to hunting down people, killing people. There's kill warrants. So it's it's a little bit of everything, and, and it's sort of rated from level high uh, five being like the kill warrant all the way down to a level one, which would be maybe like, you know, a post office delivery sort of thing. So. Is the reason that the show is called Killjoys because you're killing the joy of the people you're capturing? <laughs> I think that's part of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, joy is money in this world, and killing is obviously killing, so we kill for money. Can you tell me a little bit more about the different, like, you know, you said there was one planet and three moons. So what are the differences between all those places? Because I almost felt like it was a different show every time you moved locations. Yeah, I think that's one of the really cool things about the show is that it makes it feel so big because they're the, even visually the, the different locations are, are just so different. But uh, Crush is the main um, planet, and it's sort of the very wealthy, very opulent planet. And then there's uh, Westerly, which is sort of mining, very dirty, very grimy, and then Leith is the sort of, um, uh, how do you say, like agriculture sort of thing. So it, it's sort of, the interesting thing about the, the planet and the three moons is, is really the sort of cultural differences between them and also sort of the political differences. There's wealth and there's poverty and it's sort of, that's what's bubbling underneath uh, uh, this world that we're living in and, and may kind of come to a head at some point across the show. I, I find that there's like a little bit of a lost vibe to the show in the sense that we get glimpses of like each character's backstory. And so we saw a little bit of Dutch, we mm -hmm. saw a little bit of Davin and his mm -hmm. like problems in the military. But, you know, it's been pretty mum in the first four episodes about like Johnny. So either he doesn't really have an interesting story or he's got like the crate, he's got like five kids or something. Well, I think, you know, we do a 10 episode season. So there, I think you have to make choices as, as, you know, you can't cram it all in. And I think that the real interesting thing about John is that he is sort of the glue that holds this team together. I think that's his position. Like, I, I think if they all had secrets and, and back pass, and the, it would be a bit crammed. So I'm hoping that if we get a second season, we really get to delve into John's past, because I think there is, well, in my mind anyways, I think there is some interesting stuff to discover. But yeah, it's really, the the backstories are sort of more focused on, on Dutch and Davin, and then Johnny trying to have to like deal with that and hold it all together. Johnny seems to be a little bit insecure, and that was the sense that I got, you know, especially when Davin joins the team. Do you feel like that insecurity is just because, you know, now his brother is there, or do you feel like that insecurity is there because I've got a thing for Dutch. Now, all of a sudden, my, like, macho man brother shows yeah. up, and she likes him better. I, I don't think that that's what it is. I think it, he's insecure about his place on the team. I mean, obviously, his brother is, like, a super soldier, incredibly good at, you know, uh, kicking butt and stuff. So I think he's worried that he's going to be replaced in that way i think he feels really useful and really a part of something working with dutch and and now that this new element is coming in i think it's like well what's this going to do to our team is it going to tear it apart am i going to have a place here anymore so i think it's more that than the romantic element um yeah so you don't think there's going to be like a pacey dawson like sophia's choice that dutch is going to have to make at some point no it's just been done you know, the, I mean, who knows in further seasons, but I think that the interesting thing about these people is that it's really almost like a, uh, like a family mm -hmm. in a lot of way and like that bond and, and that, and I think that that's sort of a little bit more interesting than the classic love triangle because we, we see that a lot. But who knows? Who knows where things can go? But at this point, it's not really a love triangle. Usually when it's sort of like a team of good guys trying to get bad guys or capture people, you know, it's a much larger team of good guys. I'm thinking sort of like the Avengers. And the thing that I like about the show is that it's only a trio, which means you really get to learn about the protagonists. Uh, do you feel like that's one of the really good elements about the show? And do you think that the show will add a new Killjoy at some point? I think, I mean, if the show went on for a long time, I think that it would be very interesting to see other, uh, other Killjoys. And at a certain point in the first season, not to give too much away, but we do sort of get introduced to some other Killjoys. And I think that that's a lot of fun because they're definitely an interesting group of people who choose to live their lives sort of you know, flying by the seat of their pants and very dangerous and stuff. So uh, I'm sure that if the show went on, we would definitely have to introduce some more Killjoys because that's the world that we, that we live in. You've worked on so many different types of projects. Can you talk a little bit about the genre of sci-fi and what the appeal is for you? Well, to me, I think 
the coolest thing about working in sci-fi. Somebody asked me a question a little while ago about like, well, do you want to do, you know, something else like that, not in genre work? And I said, of course, you know, like it's nice to, to do different things, but I actually did a pilot for a cop show and it was great. It was a cool show, but it's sort of, after you've worked in in these in the genre where there's like all these amazing outer worldly things that you get to do regular stuff gets a little bit boring mm-hmm. so i think that there's of course you want to like diversify the roles that you play and stuff but i think that the drama and the character stuff is just as real and grounded on a show like this but then you also get the space you get the action you get all that stuff added to it so it's kind of the best of both worlds you know, people said to me, what do you think about Killjoys? And I said, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. And I really mean that. Like, I haven't seen a show like this before. I feel like non-sci-fi fans tend to group all sci-fi shows together. Oh, you know, like, when are the aliens coming yeah, out, yeah. you know? Um, can you talk a little bit about how unique Killjoys is? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, the, the, the world that we've created, well, not we, I won't take credit for that. I'll, I'll say Michelle, the creator of our show, um, it's, it's really complex, it's really detailed, and it's very unique. Um, and again, I think you have to really watch the show to see all those elements. But I think it just sort of opens up, and, and I think it also sets up for something, you know, you can just keep digging and digging in this world. I think there's so many, so much detail. So, um, yeah, I don't know, does that answer your question? It does, yeah. it does. Why, why do you think, Aaron, that people should watch this show? Well, I, I think it has a little bit uh, of something for everybody. If you are a super sci-fi fan, I mean, obviously it has all those elements. But like I said, it's grounded. There's romance. There's action. There's, yeah, comedy. That's the other thing that I think the show does really well is that it can get really serious and really dark. But there is a level, like a sense of humor there as well. And I think that that will appeal to a broad group of people as well. Um, you know, to, to end it, I just want you to give me the first thing you think of of this scenario that I'm about to present to you. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. So, you know, season one goes really well. Mm-hmm. Killjoys is announced to be coming back for season two, but mm-hmm. a new flavor, a new wrinkle is needed, you know? So they decide to add a fourth Killjoy, mm-hmm. um, somebody who has an affinity for purple, um, who likes glasses, mm-hmm. um, really um, is a big Dutch fan. Mm-hmm. Um, Johnny doesn't seem to really like this guy. It sort of <laughs> harkens back to the whole, like, Davin thing. Mm-hmm. Um, is there room for insecure, somebody? Insecure yeah, around yeah, it his, just plays it up. Yeah, well, this character's a little bit insecure, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a little. Maybe they bond over that? Uh, uh, no, rival, no. Rival, yeah, rival yeah. insecurity. That's right. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. so, so do you, first of all, is there room on the team for somebody like this? And secondly, do you know anyone that could potentially fill this role? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Can you put in a good word with, like, Hannah? Can she, like, pull some strings? I feel like I already got you on Team Mertz. I will definitely have a, uh, have a talk with her. I don't know how your interview went, but yes. we'll we'll we'll, okay. we'll check that out. And yeah. I, I think that I think you got a good shot at this. I'm more of a not a kill joy, but more of a bring joy to the set kind of guy. We might need that. Okay. I yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome, Aaron. Thank you so much. Thank you. June 19th on Space Channel Killjoys.